Hey guys, welcome to another math video. So for this video, I'll be going over logarithmic functions. Okay, so basically that's what we'll be doing. I don't have any examples for this one. I'm, I just want you to get familiar with the way logarithmic functions look and what their graphs look like. Okay, okay so this is the basic form of a logarithmic function. Uh, read this as log base b of y equals x, where y is the answer, b is your base, and x is your exponent. So when we do, when we solve logarithmic functions, um, <clears throat> the basic types of logarithmic functions, and when we solve for x, we're actually solving for the exponent. Okay. So let's take a look at a couple graphs. Um, I'll go over more on how to solve logarithmic functions in another video, so don't worry about that. Um, let's take a look at a graph, a couple of graphs. Okay, so this is the basic graph of a logarithmic function. So if um, your base is a natural number, because you can't, you can't have your base be zero, okay? So, or one for that matter. So if your base is two and higher, okay, your graph looks like this. Now, if your graph is a rat, I mean, your base is a rational number, so between 0 and 1, this is what the graph will look like, okay? So, it's important to note that logarithmic functions are inverses of exponential functions. So, um, the way inverses work, if uh, you haven't seen that video yet, uh, is the domain and range are switched for the inverses. So the domain of um, the, well, let me talk about the exponential graph. For the exponential graph, the domain will be the, um, uh, will be the range of the logarithmic function and the, the domain, I mean, sorry, the range of the um, exponential function will be the domain of the um, logarithmic function. So, because the uh, exponential function has an asymptote at the x-axis, the logarithmic functions, being the inverses of exponential functions, will have an asymptote along the y-axis. So you can see that these graphs don't cross the y-axis. They get really close, but they'll never touch and they'll never cross. Okay, unless there's a there's a horizontal um, translation, but this is just the basic look of the uh, logarithmic functions. So I'm not doing any translations in this. So the basic form of logarithmic functions won't cross the y-axis. Okay. Oh, I guess I do have some examples here. Um, we can go over these pretty quickly. So basically. These are our basic logarithmic functions. Um, your base is 3, and the answer is 9. So when we're solving these types of problems, we're actually looking for the exponent. So 3 to what power will make 9? 2. Okay. Here again, what exponent will make 4 into 2? So... The answer for this one will be one half because you need to take the square root of four to get two and the way we write square roots as exponents is in fraction form so if you took the, the third root of something you would write that as an exponent in the one third okay um, I don't know I haven't gone over this type yet I'll go over this more in another video but basically if you don't see a base here um, it's common common um, knowledge that the base is automatically 10. Okay, so 10 to what power would be 1,000? That's 3. And same for here. Base of 10, give you 0 0.1 or 1 tenth. Um, that would be negative 1. So to get a reciprocal, you would need a negative exponent. Okay, so that's pretty much it for those. <clears throat> um, 
forgot I had put any examples in. If you want to go back and look at the examples, you know, feel free to rewind the video. Otherwise, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Oh, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments.